Blah, 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 blah. All right. So, here's a nice little blast from the past. You know, I haven't really talked too much about Titanal Forks, mostly because they're shit or rug pulls. But, this nice little gem... I actually knew about this project back at, towards the end of January, but they just had a Twitter up and they just said that, you know, the Empire shall rise again, right? Because that's the, because this is obviously a Julius Caesar themed Titano Fork. And at the same time, I was looking at De Deimos, which was an instant rug pull. So I assumed this was going to be a rug pull too. And then I just kind of forgot about it after, until now. So obviously a lot has happened. Right, at least for me personally, in the entire month of February, I mean, that's when I like just completely transformed, and I was like, wow, you know, I was like, still pretty incredible that I was able to kind of just pull back from like nearly the brink of bad stuff happening. But <clears throat> with that being said, the elite Discord actually told me about Caesar Finance, right? You can just look at this if you want to, but basically, it's your standard, you know, Titano fork. Now, there was a kind of little danger that we discussed in Elite Discord in that we thought that maybe this was actually, this was actually the... Oh, stupid... Is this stupid nose hairs? We actually might have thought that it was basically the developers of Palace Finance who also did Samurai Finance or Honor Finance or something, right? Basically, the, the assholes from... The developer assholes from Palace that basically just did a... I don't know you can call it a soft rug, but basically it just keeps fucking up the project over and over again, refuses to make admit that he's wrong. Because I've talked about this before with Palace Finance, and then just keeps doing the stupid flasher sales and you know. So basically we discussed that because we were looking at the contract code and they basically and then it was like it's the exact same thing, blah blah blah, just a couple changes. But I think we ultimately concluded that they just simply because it's very common to just copy the forks like to literally copy and paste code. So that doesn't necessarily mean you're the same dev, right? You're, you're just more smart slash lazy by copying. But ultimately, you know, we found that they added like another 300 lines of code to this. And of course, this is on AVAX. That's another important thing. So not only is this finally not on freaking Phantom, right? Because again, it's got a severe super predator problem, right? That's what that's what that's what I now call asshole whales. There are nice whales that will support you, and that's who I I would like to be. So I put a lot of money in your project, and as long as you don't fuck me in your community and rug pull or abandon your project, you know, I'll leave my money in there, right? You know, so yeah, but. You know, super predators, of course, you know, they just pump and dump your project and say, go F yourself, right? So it's like, what are you going to do? So anyway, this is on AVAX. And I, and I think it also occurred to me basically yesterday that this might actually be the official first Titano fork on AVAX. Because I don't know of any other Titano fork that's on AVAX. If you actually know and they are legit, I actually want you to comment on it. I'm going to immediately check it out. I'm totally going to do a video on it, right, if, if it checks out. Because I've been wanting a Titano effing fork on AVAX for, like, forever, right? Because, A, you get away from the Super Predator problem, and then, B, AVAX is just, like, much bigger, right? And on top of that, AVAX devs are not assholes. Like, they're actually, like, yeah, let's make it cheaper and faster for everyone, right? Unlike Phantom, where it's the opposite. They want to make things more expensive and more exclusive, right? It's just so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Right? This is supposed to be an actual... I hate to use the word democracy, but that's essentially what it's supposed to be, right? we got to make it more fair for everybody, not less fair. So, because High Point is take finance is taking forever. That's why I haven't done any videos on it, because they're still fucking working on it. It's like... I mean, I know it'll be like good or okay, but it's just like, man, you know... So anyway, they've been taking forever. I think Zeus Finance rugged, right? Oh, yeah, he did rug, and then he was actually in our elite Discord. So, so obviously, you know, the, the guy who runs it banned him instantly. So it's like, yeah, it's just blow after blow after blow. So, so basically, you know, and of course, since it's on AVAX, I know the rebasing won't be a problem on it because the network is just that much better, right? It's faster, it's cheaper, all right? I mean, unless, uh, unless a new, like, uh, Avalant or Antvalant, right? That new game that launched, I think, yesterday or two days ago, jammed up the network. At one point, gas fees on AVAX was like 1200 2000 It's like, holy shit. 
why why are people spending thousands of dollars to mint something? I mean, I guess they really wanted like that ultra elite ant or something. I think it's an ant game. Like, I don't know if it's like Sim Ant. Like, I don't know if anyone even played that from like. You know, I'm really old, right? You know, I grew up in the 90s, essentially, so... But that was such a fun game. But anyway, people are minting their shit, and now they they got their stuff, so now AVAX is back to normal. But anyway, I'm very happy that, you know, this actually kind of pulled through. Now, this project is was launched, stealth launched, February 15th, 2022. Oh, yeah. Let me write down, because I'm actually starting to go through my... Content queue update on APU and UNIV. Yeah, I'm probably going to do an update on that too. Update on APU and UNIV. Because I'm actually also in R&D. Problem is I can't cover it because it's not safe for work type of thing. But again, I have mentioned that I now have seven mansions and I'm going full compounding on that. So I'm going to go I'm gonna go for 49 mansions and then I'll figure out what to do from there. Actually, I kind of want to pull profit on what I'm making 49... 49 playmates a day, and then, yeah. But anyway, I calculated the whole thing, so I'm going to make some good money off of that eventually. So, anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling about it, uh, da -da -da, but yeah, so my content queue is starting to actually clear up, so there's not too many new Tomb Forks, especially now with all the crazy shit that's going on, right? I mean, I already told you what's going on, so just let it play itself out. But yeah, I'm going to do an update on Ape Universe and Univ. Because Universe, I mean, that project was pissing me off. But, you know, to her credit, the dev, because I'm told that it's a woman, right? You know, she is actually doing the right thing. She, I guess she's buying back the Univ and the circulating supply on it is actually rapidly dropping, which is why the price has been going up. So I like that, all right? Because I only get mad if, like, you keep making changes and they don't work. Because that's what it looked like for a while and it was pissing me off. Right? APR, APR, APR keeps dropping and dropping, dropping. Oh, the price keeps dropping and dropping. It's like, you know, it's like fucking your piss. <laughs> you know? But as a rule of thumb, I don't actually make FUD videos. I just complain about it in my video without any tags so I don't cause, like, you know, serious damage to a project. And then it's just like, but at the same time, I like to vent, right? Because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's, that's complaining about it. And then she finally, like, made a promise not to change any of the APRs for like two months. So, but now that the project actually looks pretty stabilized, I think she can actually just leave the APR system that she has in place, right? So, whatever. Like, as long as it's fucking stable and the price doesn't keep tanking, that's all I really care about. And then if it goes up, it, and then the price will actually go up as a result, then, I'd be, then I'm okay with it. So, anyway, you don't want to deal with all that stupid bullshit, right? Well, you just try, you could just try Caesar Finance, right? I only put in, like, two, three hundred bucks into this. Uh, actually, I can tell you how many tokens I have. Uh, okay, so on February 28th, 10.39 p.m. Eastern, my time, New York City, I had 113,319 Caesar coins, and that's after the taxes. So the tax system on this is a little different. I think it's 15% for buys and 20% for sales. And, you know, and the, pay, and the APR is, you know, basically Palace and Poseidon, right? Well, Poseidon's not actually... Actually, Poseidon is no longer uh, this one now. They're actually Titano, basically, 102,000, which is actually good, right? So in addition to that, plus their NFTs, which I thought didn't really matter. But, okay, well, I'm glad I was wrong about it because apparently that people actually really like them and they're buying up a shit ton of Poseidon. Works for me because it's going to be a while before Poseidon Blank, the, the experimental tomb fork, comes out. That's why I haven't done a video on it. Like, right now, they're just doing marketing. Like, I already did my video on it, but, you know, I have to have new content. Like, I need actual new content. So, you know, they'll work on it whenever. And I'm sure, I mean, they are working on it. I just don't know when they'll finish, all right? And they can show us something. But, you know, it'll get done. So, anyway, you know, so the tax is a little higher, but your APR is a little higher. So, I'm okay with that. Plus, with such a high tax rate, their treasury is going to be looking pretty good. And that's actually another thing I should actually look for. Because that's actually one thing I never actually checked was their treasury. Contract and address. Okay, so auto liquidity, RFE, deck screener. Oh, oh, that's nice. They actually have the deck screener. Okay, and there's the contract the link to Snow Trace. Make sure it's the same thing. Yes, it's the exact same chart. So I didn't screw us. All right, so here we go. 
here we go. Now, I, I have to get into my actor stance in order to imitate Heath Ledger there. Snowtrace.io, right? Okay. Let's take a look at you. Okay, you have... Uh, 127. Yeah, you have a nice amount of AVAX, which is worth about 10.6k. Not too bad. You own a bunch of weird different Caesars. What? Okay, you set set next rebase. Okay, it looks like it's working. Rebase unwrap swap AVAX for exact tokens of some kind. Go away. I don't know what he was exchanging for in this one, but whatever, I don't really care. Okay. Alright, so yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, look, the rebase is working just fine. Okay. God, this was Phantom, right? Sometimes it would work, sometimes it would not work, right? Because the fees are like out of control there, because, you know, there's not a lot of validators in Phantom, right? On purpose. So, yeah. So I'm not sure why there's a bunch of these weird Caesar coins. Eh, I don't know. Maybe that might be a small red flag, but I mean, I guess it's okay. And then we have the reserve free value treasury. I don't actually know what the difference between the two are. I just know. So basically, I just consider them both the thingies. All right. So their their treasury looks pretty good, and they're storing it as AVAX, right? Because he has two fifty five point six in the other. Uh, this is the RFE treasury. So I'll probably make sure, I should actually probably leave the links here, believe it or not. So this is RFV, and this is normal treasury. So I'll leave the links to this. So Because remember, the last time I covered a Titano fork was before I discovered Tomb Fork. So I didn't have like the format that I have, the standardized format that I have now. Okay, so, all right, so, so let's see. You can buy it on Trader Joe, XYZ, yada, 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 right? I can do this, understand, accept the update. Very good. So let's, no, not the white pair. I want the DAP. You don't actually need the DAP. Oh, good. I'm about to get some money in 20 seconds. So here's the DAP, right? It's basically old Titano or Palace, or, well, not Pasaya, but old ta Titano Palace, blah, blah, blah. Which is why we had we were a little paranoid that this was actually just Heracod from Palace, just doing a new fork project, right? But again, there's different changes. There's code. Oh, yeah, and then one, uh, I think it was Poseidon Black or Logic X. Yeah, basically the guy who's running Poseidon Black, right? Because he's actually a coder, or I guess he knows coders. He actually said that he he, he theorized in the Elite Discord, of course. He theorized that basically this is like, what did he actually say? He said these are AVAX fans, the developers. So they like AVAX as a blockchain, and they just simply copied and pasted the Palace code and then made their own changes, which is fine. That's exactly what you should do, right? Because again, we, I, what I always say, I invest in the people. In this case, it would be the devs and the community, but specifically the devs, right? Mods are another thing too, but they're, but you know, they don't actually code anything usually. So it's the developers, because without the developers, the whole thing doesn't matter, right? Look what happened to Draco Finance, right? Developers nowhere to be seen. Fucking project died, right? I already pulled out. I pulled out my money from that. Right, technically, I put in originally like 60 bucks, right? I don't know how much of that, I don't know how much I pulled out in profit, I don't even remember. And then I pulled out like six dollars, <laughs> right? So that thing basically tanked like a lot. Imagine if, you know, you, you aped into that, right? You just you just did the same mistake I did in Metaverse Pro, you lose all your effing money. The only difference is at least Metaverse Pro will eventually go back up. I even thought about just taking, just dumping it now and take massive losses, but... but I don't think I want to take a fifty to fifty-five thousand dollar loss, man. It's, 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 and then put it into like Titano or something. Or I was feeling more adventurous, I could buy Caesar with it. Actually, I don't even want to do that. I would rather buy Poseidon because at least I know that I'll be safe. So it's like, you know, these are just bad choices overall. So I'm just gonna have to just stick it out with fucking congruent, right? And then just like, just so fucking annoyed with that shit. I am. Um,
You know, Titanal is so much simpler and it's already better than fucking Congruid still. It, it's just so fucking frustrating to me, man. Which is why, you know, overcomplicating things isn't always, is always the worst thing you can fucking do, you know? And Congruid ver compared to Titanal is a clear example of this. These are two projects that basically came out at the same time. Right? Titano is a Titano, right? And then Metaverse Pro is just a Dow, Olympus Dow fork. The, the results are just so clear. So, again, normally I'm not a big fan of taxation systems, but in the, but in the case of crypto, you really have to have them, right? Because it's simple, it's scalable, and more importantly, it's anti-whale, right? It punishes whales. Technically, it punishes everyone, but it punishes whales the most, right? And the whales will still make money, just not as much. And you can comp and I told Sim Solid that, right? You know, the guy who's running Sphere Finance and also coding High Point Finance, right? I told him that the reason why taxes are actually really good is because it helps mitigate the damage from these super predator F words, right? You know, that's what I'm going to call them now, right? Super predators. I really like that term. It's so funny. So I don't know. Maybe, you're, actually, I don't know. I better not encourage you to write that in the comments because I don't want YouTube to accidentally think that, like, you know, we're like, a very controversial content, and then they're gonna like penalize the videos. So yeah, super predators. So just so make sure you just write like in the YouTube comments, you self censor. Unfortunately, I just write super super uh, p word. Oh no, you can't even say that because Google's gonna kind of. Oh man, just call them the the super jerks or something. Yeah, it is, and it's not as funny, but you know, super jerks or something, because that's really what they are too. You know, fucking assholes. But anyway. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So I personally don't even connect to the apps anymore, with the exception of Titano, right? Because there's no point. Like, you just get your free money in your MetaMask wallet and then go about your life. So you can check this out. I'll make sure I'll have the links to, I guess, well, we don't need the docs because no one really cares about the docs, right? So I'll probably just point to the dashboard, the chart, and of course the treasuries. So. Check this out. You know, I put a couple hundred bucks in. If I obviously had more money, I would put more into this. Like I wouldn't mind putting like a thousand dollars into this and just just see what happens, right? And again, it's on AVAX. It's I think the first Titano fork on AVAX. That's actually a really big advantage. So I'm pretty happy with this. You know, tax. Remember, taxes is fifteen percent buys. You know, I better actually before we end this, we better actually confirm this. So. I need to go to their documentation. How to buy. Okay. Yeah, see it says 15, but where are, where is, here we go, buy and sell fees. Okay, so I was actually wrong, right? The amount of the fees, 13% for buy and 18% for sales. Uh, okay. Well, I still set mine to be 2% above, right? Yeah, so that would be 15%. So yeah, it's technically 13 to 18% still, at least according to this. But the doc says set it to 15, which is technically correct as well. So, all right. I don't know, all right, I'll write 13 to 18% or whatever, right? So yeah, so anyway, yeah, that's it. I don't know what my next videos are. Let's see, what did I write here? An update on Ape Universe and Universe Forks. Yeah, I could do that just for quick, uh, quick content, right? Because you know, Universe has made enough changes that I think I can actually talk about it, especially because of the circulating supply thing, right? Going down, which is what I always talk about as the most important thing for a node project. There we got Eagle Finance. I'm still waiting on that. Make sure it's not a rug. So far, I haven't heard anyone complain about it, so I guess it's still fine for now. We have Charge DeFi and Alpha Nodes. So yeah, I've got about four videos to do, unless there's something new that actually pops up. Okay, so it's not too bad. So, so of course I'm gonna take tomorrow off, right? I, I actually like the I like the idea of doing some videos on one day and then take and then just wait another two days, right? And then yeah, so I don't know what will happen. What will happen if when I run out of actual content? I mean, I guess we're just not gonna make any videos, right? So it'll just be, uh, you know, uh, just chill, right? Steak, and <laughs> steak and chill, right? So, all right. Uh, so I'm done. Make sure you like, subscribe, spread the video around, blah 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 blah. And of course, if you're invested in Caesar Finance, spread this video around so you can help me with the marketing. It helps the project, right? And then we all get richer. And then of course, 
as long as this project is actually legit, yeah, we're we're, we're all, it's just gonna be a win win situation overall. So, thanks. And yes, yeah, nine thirty seven a.m. I gotta eat. I gotta listen to Greg Manorino, listen to Jesse Lee Peterson. I got all. I got a lot of stuff to do. So, all right. Thanks.